We're going to show you how easy it is to set up a domain with HostGator and also to set up your web hosting with them as well. When you go to HostGator.com, you'll see a screen similar to this. It might look different at the time you're viewing this. Uh, this happens to be in January 2013 that uh, they have their winter scene here. Just click on Web Hosting Plans and you'll be taking to directly to their web hosting. Now we have to go through this process first before we can actually register a domain and the domain is the name of your site that you'd like, like mywebsite.com for example. But first you have to narrow down which hosting package you want. They offer three different packages, the Hatchling, Baby, and Business Plan, and it really is up to you what you want to choose, but I'll just tell you a little bit about each one of these so that you can make an informed decision. The Hatchling Plan is very inexpensive. This It's not $3.96 a month. That's, that's including this little offer they're running. It's more like $9 a month or so, but it's only for one domain. And for just a dollar more, you can go to the baby plan where you can have unlimited domains. And this gives you the flexibility of testing out new sites if you want to. It's not going to cost you any more a month to test out a new website. So this is the plan that I would recommend over the Hatchling plan. But if you happen to s intend to sell anything on your site, this shared SSL certificate can be a problem for you. This is called the Secured Socket Layer, and what it is is it's basically a, um, a technology to encrypt communication between the user and the web server. So if you're selling something and you have a shared SSL certificate, sometimes it'll pop up a warning box, and um, that can be off-putting to some of your customers. So if you're, if you're planning to sell something, I would definitely opt for the business plan. This is also has a shared IP address. And what an IP address is, is it's sort of like having a post office box where you can get this post office box and many other people can, can get the same post office, office box and share it with you. But if you have one bad apple in the bunch, they may shut down that post office box. It's the same with an IP address. An IP address is really just a, a shared space where it's an address that tells people where to find your website and you may there may be thousands of people on the same shared IP address. If you have somebody who's a, a spammer though the internet community can come down and tag that IP address as being a problem and then suddenly you're not ranking on Google and there can be a whole host of other problems. So if you're a business or a heavy-duty hobbyist or you're selling something on your on your website I would say the business plan is definitely the way to go. It is a little bit more a month, but um, it's worth it not to worry about your site being um, tagged as being part of a spam system. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one. And this is the, where we get to the step where we can choose our domain. You can register a new domain, which is what we're going to do here, or if you have a domain that you're you want to hook up, like say you've, you've purchased through GoDaddy or one of the other uh, large vendors, you can have that, that domain either move to HostGator or you can just have it post, uh, pointing over to HostGator to your hosted website. Um, that's another video and I recommend that you talk to the, the their chat, either live chat or call their technical help. They're very, uh, very friendly and helpful at HostGator. I, really the longest I've ever had to be waiting for a live chat is about seven minutes and I think that's really fantastic uh, in today's time. But for now we're going to register a new domain so obviously your domain is mysite.com whatever your site happens to be but for example you can't pick a site that's already registered to somebody else. You're going to get this warning message here that google.com is not available. Imagine that. So I'm going to go ahead and just type in something that I know is available and click to go to step two. Before we do this though, I want to show you this. Right now they're running a special called Snappy and it's a 20% off um, special. So you can leave that coupon code there or if you type in ready, set, go, you'll get 25% off. That's just something we've set up with, with HostGator that you can get an extra 5% off if you, if you use this little coupon code. So by all means get that extra 5% type in ready, set, go and continue to step two. And now here's where we choose the, the package we want to host our website. Just because you have a name, uh, mybusiness.com, there's really nothing attached, there's no website attached to that name until you make that happen. So what the hosting plan is, is it's, it's basically where your website is going to live in cyberspace. And you pay HostGator or Bluehost or an, any other vendor uh, a monthly fee or annual fee to actually 
host your website and make sure that it doesn't go down and make sure that the pages are always available for people to see and that that costs a little bit of money so here's where we're, we're choosing our package I'm gonna choose the business package and because I have the 25 percent off I'm gonna maximize that by uh, choosing 12 months instead of the month to month if you do monthly then you'll only get 25 percent off your first month so I'm gonna choose the 12 month because I'm I'm certain my my site's gonna be around for a year the next thing I need to do, and you can see right here, it's telling me 25% off. If it doesn't say that, you can always back up and go put in the Ready, Set, Go coupon code. So now it's asking for a username, and um, they're, they're showing you here with the X's and the checks, you want to make sure these are all green before you move on. It actually won't let you do that. So I'm going to type in um, my name is username, put in whatever whatever you want in there to be your username for your hosting and a security pin has to be four to eight characters only numbers here's where you'll enter your billing information and then they have these add-ons and this is really just personal just read through these and see if any of these are um, useful to you they have to do with privacy whether you want to keep your name hidden from the from the web world as the owner of the site and different uh, protection plans for now I'm just I'm not choosing any of these. I usually don't choose these um, but it's totally personal so you might want to look those over and now here we are about to create the account I'm gonna have a brand new hosting account I'm gonna check everything over I do um, want to make sure that my coupon code I'm getting credit for that and I am ready set go 25% off and there it is I am going to be charged $15 that's an annual fee to host my domain name this is my package to actually host my website and I should get a little a reminder um, oh probably about 11 months from now that it's it's due for renewal as as I will with my domain as, registration as well so there we go I've got my total everything looks good I'm gonna read the terms and conditions check that I've read them and then go ahead and click on create account after clicking on the create account button you'll be taken to this pop-up screen which is a thank you page they're letting you know that they're going to email you the information to to log into your hosting account and you might want to make a note of this reference number just on the off chance that you don't receive an email from them you can use this reference number to talk to the uh, folks at HostGator and get it straightened out that's never happened to me it has taken a few minutes to get the email though so just be patient if you haven't gotten it in about 10 minutes then I would go ahead and check into it but again that's never happened to me I've always gotten my emails within I'd say about two to ten minutes so you should be receiving an email that looks similar to this it'll come from sales at hostgator.com and it contains a lot of information that you're going to need to get into your host site and into your billing section of your hosting so keep this email or preserve the information that's on this email as best you can the first thing that you need to take note of is at the top here we have the billing information this is the login that you'll go to if you need to check your account either upgrade or whatever you need to do with your billing information and there's a password that they send you that you'll need to copy and have ready when you go to the billing section the most important part of this email however is this control panel login information this is how you get into your control panel and start actually working with your hosting account this link will take you directly into your control panel or what's known as the C panel you'll need your username this is the domain reference it'll be whatever you set up and then this password is very important you'll need to copy this password down now you can change this to something that means is more meaningful to you in the future once you get into the control panel and we'll show you how to do that in just a second this bottom information you may never have to deal with but it's good information to know it's the IP address whether you did the shared IP or you uh, got the business account and have your own private IP that's your IP address just nice to know what it is and then your name servers in case you um, ever have to deal with any other hosting companies or email or, or there's a variety of things that you might need this for in the future most likely not uh, most people never have to delve this deep into their their hosting but it's good to make sure that you have that information accessible and if you'd like I created this form where I keep all of my information it's a PDF you can download it free at trialtutors.com slash web tutorial and it's I just fill it out as I'm setting up my new accounts this is all my hostgator account information the login for the billing the billing password my cPanel information if I've revised my password I put it in here 
and then the name server and IP address information here. Again, you're welcome to download this for free. Uh, it helps me keep track of uh, all of my websites. Now the next thing that you'll need to do is click on this link here to go to your control panel. Once you've clicked on that link from your email, you'll be taken to the cPanel login screen and just simply type in the username and copy and paste the password that you received in the email and you'll be redirected to what is called the HostGator Control Panel or cPanel. This is the brains of your hosted site. Um, you can do lots of things here. The first thing I might recommend doing is changing your password under preferences, change password and you just paste in the old password and type in something that's meaningful to you, new password. Be sure and make sure it's a strong password that's important to make sure that your site stays safe. And then you click on change password now. You don't have to change your password, that's just something that, that I tend to do so I don't forget. You'll get some pop-ups on here, just close those out. You might get a, a video that pops up that you can watch that shows you how to use parts of your host your HostGator control panel. And uh, that's it from start to finish, from purchasing a domain to setting up your hosting with HostGator. It's super simple. Um, highly recommend it.